Bro? Do you have any idea what I've gone through to try to get to you? So, so hate you. Snakey, snakey. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. Stupid. Constant vigilance. Old coast map. I don't want that. I don't care about that. Unless I honestly don't care about most of this stuff. I'm just here for the elixir. You know? What am I going to do with a bull rat fetus? Besides throw it, because it's gross. Ew! I can look at it! Ew! <laughs> he is a scientist. Look at what a scientist he is. He is such a scientist. You, you, you. I don't know why. Just let me do it. I don't need any more of that. Well, I have a full well old tank and nothing to do with it. It's, can I put it in that? I don't think so. Bro, homie, where are you? I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for B12, after the car- Oh my gosh. Rad. Characteristic sloughing of the skin. She should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Dude, do you have any idea what I have gone Let through? Go. Ah, awake, I see. How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Gosh, now. No one's going to die. Much Except you. Number 312. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go. What is this? What? How did you get past all the guards? I killed them. That too is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who yeah, you? you're coming with me. What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. You'll just let me go? I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am. I'm not gonna boy. harm you, I'm just gonna. <laughs> We're gonna go to sleep now. Yep. Hey, give me your key. I'm gonna let all your friends Thank go. You, whoever you are. You're welcome, kept sister. Me like an animal. I know. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. If you get feeling better, you'll probably die. Still, you shouldn't be kept like an animal. Let's go, bud. We gotta get to Sam's boat. And I have to carry you there. That seems hard. Okay, especially because I can't blink with you. Hmm. This is going to be difficult. Alright. I probably shouldn't throw you. <laughs> Just a thought. Oh, that's what I need the whale oil for. Okay. 
good thing I'm a forward thinker. Right? Right. Very good. Come here, bro. We gotta, we gotta go. We have places to be that include us going with Sam, so... Yep. This is great. Um... I want to leave now. Thank you. You wait here. Oh, it's your house. I see where we are. I assume there's still guards out here. You know? Some bullets and a grenade. Alright, I need to turn that off. Oh, you know what? This actually might be a good time to rewire this and then, like, lure them all to me. No? No? Oh. Move, move, move. You guys are supposed to be walking into the wall of light! This is not working out the way that I planned at all! And I didn't find any elixir. None. Why did that- why did that- That didn't work at all how I wanted it to. I'll flush you out. I'm just gonna set you all on fire. That's rad. That was kind of awesome. Alright, you. Nighty night. Is that all of you? Because I don't have time for your crap. You know? Busy guy! Freaking have people to kidnap and stuff. Alright, where did I put you? I don't know where I put you. Here you are. Come here! You have places to be, Sokolov. I know you're very sleepy right now. But, uh. I'm a busy man. And... I don't have time for your crap. So... Down we go. Sam, why are you over there? Come over here. Sam, why are you... Why do you make everything difficult, Sam? You just... You're... Such a pain. You just- that is a lovely picture of the Empress. You just, just so nice. Such nice graffiti. What's up, bro? Well, I'm gonna set you free. I'm gonna set you free because I like you. Whoops. No. No, no. I wanna set them free. I don't know who you are, why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. A partially collapsed building. Ha! Mine! 
BRB Sokolov. Oh, whoops. Ha! <laughs> I thought I was blinking. I was shooting a gun. It's not the same. Ah! I'm gonna get up there. <laughs> if I whine about it, it'll happen. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Come on! Okay. <sighs> I know the combination. Two, nine, four. Good thing I, like, kind of paid attention to that, because I... Ingot. Ingot. I met a lady, and her name was Ingot. It was kind of ugly. Um. I was gonna say, where's Sleepy? Found him! Alright, Sam. There you are. We can go now. I have... Snorri McSnorrison. Sin. The royal physician himself. You made a neat job of it. No, I didn't. We'll be off. You many people I killed? A lot! I didn't know you could catch madness. Like a disease.